Hi guys, it's uh, Will here. Today we are inside the roundabout on top of the Billwinds and uh, we're going to share with you a couple of our tips on how to pack your jackets away and keep them safe when you're out on the hills. See I've got my Rab Zero G on today. Um, it actually comes with its own stuff sack. Uh, so this is designed to keep your, your jacket safe when it's packed away inside your bag. Um, and simply, you know, stuff sacks called stuff sacks for a reason. You stuff the jacket inside. So just take the jacket off, pop it in there. It looks like I'm teaching how to suck eggs at the moment, but you know, holding the, the bag either side, using your thumbs, stuffing it in nice and evenly, moving it round, and just filling that stuff sack up with your jacket. So a lot of these stuff sacks you'll see in a second will come with a little bout loop, um, and this is more key for, say, climbers who want to attach their jackets to the harnesses to keep them with easy reach, especially when uh, they get to belay points uh, to keep them warm. So as you can see, that jacket, he says, packs away nice and neatly into its stuff sack, and there's its little bout loop there. You'll get a little crab into there, and it'll attach it to your bout. So that's uh, stuff sacks out of the way. Uh, the thing to mention about most of these stuff sacks that come with jackets, they're not waterproof. So if you want to protect it, and we recommend you do um, do this if it's going to be a wet day, is stuff it inside a dry bag. So I have a dry bag here. Uh, same principle, just stuff it straight inside. Again, sounds simple. One of the things I like to do, this was a, a tip given to me by my good friend Bob from Contra Outdoors, is just sit on it. Squeeze all the air out, and then with these dry bags, you can fold them, they say minimum of three times, but this jacket, this bag's a little bit big for this jacket, but it still does the same job, you just roll it down a little bit more. Clip it into place, and as you can see, I have a nice flat pancake in which I can stuff inside my bag and get more of these. I'll do the same with other bits of kit, pack it as flat as possible, get them inside my bag, and that'll keep it nice and dry. Okay, so once you've got your jacket back out of the stuff sack, um, one of the tips we like to give people um, you know, to stop your jacket flapping about in the wind and you're trying to fight it, trying to find the armhole, um, is to store your jackets with the zip slightly done up, like so. And this way, you can put it on like a little pullover, and then you don't have to try and fight the wind to get your jacket on. So, when it comes to storing away your hard shell jackets, I'm just going to undo this hood cinch for a second. Okay, we like to roll them into their hoods. So what we'll do, you can ask your friend to help, you can lie it on the floor, but if you want to keep your jacket nice and dry, what we say is hold it in your teeth, fold the arms in, fold it in again, and then whilst pulling tight on the jacket with your arms and your teeth, you're going to roll the jacket towards you. And then once you've done that, tuck it inside the hood. And then you can use the hood's little cinch to keep it all in place. And again, let's make it easy to pack in and out of, your, out of your bag. And then when you want to come and use it, you literally just unroll it. And like I mentioned before, how I uh, put the Zero-G back on, I've left a little bit of the zip done up, so I'm not fighting it when I get, uh, if it's windy outside, or if I've got gloves on, or cold hands, I don't have to faff around, especially with the double zip. This jacket fell down in the meantime, whilst I was faffing about with all the other jackets. But um, the Atom LT, um, it can be rolled away exactly the same as the uh, hard shell jacket, um, but, one of the things our Terex uh, recommend is you actually stuff it inside its own sleeve. Um, so, which is why the Atom RT doesn't come with its own stuff sack. So all I've done is just grab parts of the jacket, put it inside the sleeve, and again, just using my thumbs, I'm just gonna stuff the rest of the jacket in behind it. And that leaves this nice sausage shape to go in and out of your bag. It's protected really well inside its own sleeve. And then when you want to come put it on, get it out of your bag, out he comes and away you go. And again, 
if you want to keep that dry, put it inside your dry bag. Um, and again, you can flatten it exactly how I did the Zero G. So it's all, it's all about personal preference at the end of the day, but you know, they're just the little tips and tricks that we have and we wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any of your own tips or any comments, uh, leave them in the comments box below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching.